Hello, if you're returning to my channel, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like the video, please consider hitting like and subscribing as this is the best way you can help me continue making future videos with more content. In my last video, I showed you how to make a data store tool and how to save and load values like currency. But what if you wanted to save items? What if you wanted to create a table and save all your tools inside of a table so you can customize your game and various values inside instead of just one? Well, in today's video, I will show you how to save and load a table into a data store too. Let's get to it. So if you followed my last video, you should already have a player handler inside of your server storage. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and the first thing we would want to do here is under the uh, setup player data you'd want to go to the bottom and type in tools equals and make a table and you want to go right here to this end and in between these two ends one of the first things we're going to have to do is uh, basically make a character weight and the reason why we're going to need a character weight is we're going to be loading tools and uh, I'm going to use this line just to create the first tool and then I'm going to remove that line to show you that loading the tool the database goes ahead and loads the tool into your uh, player backpack so we're going to type in here player dot character added weight and that should be good enough. Uh, here's a little typo. That should be, uh, you don't have to add like a second or anything like that. Just put player character added weight and it'll wait till the character is loaded. Now, right under that, we're going to type in the loader. It's going to be player handler. Let's name it load tools just to simplify it. And player. So that right there, it's going to look for the function load tools, and it's going to run load tools as long as there's a session data. So let's put the. I guess it wouldn't be bad to put it under change value right here, so that'd be a good area for it. Function layer dot handler. Function player handler load tools and sending over the player. There we go. You can go ahead and uh, copy this right here. Local player user ID. Put that right there. And then we're going to do a loop. So for I tool name in pairs session data their user ID right behind that bracket put tools do so this is going to loop through the session data in our tools and we're going to get basically all the tools that are saved in the session data um, this is optional but uh, usually you don't want to duplicate tools that you already have in your backpack so find first child tool name so this is basically checking to make sure that the tool is not in your backpack and let's make sure it's not in the player.character and I'm sorry let's make sure okay that we have a player.character and then let's make sure that it's not player.character find first child tool name 
then so this line basically is if it's not in the backpack we have a player character and it's not in the player character meaning the, the tools not equipped then we're gonna go ahead and run another function here to create the tool player handler dot create tool so we're gonna name the new function player tool name and there we go we have basically load tools already set up now underneath that let's go ahead and create another function to create the tool I'm going to be typing function player handler create tool player and you just name it name let's go ahead and get this local variable here and uh, we can do this right here too as well we can copy it make sure we're not creating it and the character already has it um eh, we can change this to a name. There we go. So we're making sure it's not in a backpack and it's not in the character. Then and here we're gonna type local tool equals game replicated storage find first child we're gonna set up a folder let's set up folder name tools then we're gonna find first child tool name clone So before we forget, let's make sure we got a replicated storage. Go ahead and add a new folder. Name that folder tools. That's where all your tools are going to be. Uh, you can go ahead and use your toolbox over here to search for a sword. Just find the first sword, any sword will do. Don't put it in your starter pack copy that tool or that sword inside of tools and just for the sake of making it easy we're just going to name that tool sword so that's the sword that we're going to be basically using for this uh, video now so we do have game replicated storage tools find first child the tool name tool name is going to be sword now we want to set the parent, so it's going to be tool.parent equals player.backpack. Okay. So when you join the game, this is going to go ahead and run load tools right over here as soon as the character is added. Load tools is going to check. It's going to loop through the uh, actual database and all your tools make sure you don't own it or already have it and then at that point it's going to go ahead and create it then right here this functions when it's going to create it it's going to check again to make sure that you don't own the tool you don't have it on your character it's going to go ahead and clone the tool from your tools folder and set the parent to your backpack which would be your inventory the next thing we want to do is make sure it saves if it's not found in the inventory because we're going to be using create tool as well to add tools so since you're going to be using this also to add tools you would want to check to see if you already have that tool in the table or not if it's not in the table then you want to add it to the table so then it will save that you own that tool now so we're going to be typing in basically let's see local player session data 
equals session data player user ID okay now what we want to do is type if not table dot find uh, player section data dot tools and the tool name then we'd want to insert so table dot insert two player section data dot tools tool name and I think that's it that should do it so let's recap again just one more time um, we're setting up the player joining the game if it's the first time the player comes in obviously then the tools are going to be created so you're going to have the table when you first join in it's going to try to load the tools it's going to run the function load tools it's going to loop through your tools database find anything that's in there if it's not on you or on your character then it's going to go ahead and create it and create tool it's going to check again to make sure that the item is not on you or on your character it's going to go ahead and clone the item from your replicated storage. It's going to set it to your backpack. Then it's going to check if that tool name does not exist on the table that we created on the database. And if it doesn't, it's going to go ahead and add it to the table. So right now let's go ahead and go to the top, right underneath load tools. We're going to test the system real quick. I'm going to type in player handler dot create tool. I'm going to send over the player and the name of the object, which is going to be sword. I'm going to press play. See, so far, no errors. Here is the sword and it should be obviously in our backpack there it is and now wait a few seconds stop the video I mean I'm sorry start the stop the game go over here to create tools and now we're gonna remove that line that we just created see if the database saved the item and see if it gives us back the item now when we load the game again and there you have it the database loaded the tool for us and inserted it over to our backpack like it was supposed to so that's how you add a table into a data store too thank you very much for uh, watching this video Please like and subscribe if you like the content and uh, if you have any questions or anything else you would like to see, please uh, hit me up down below.